and victims are white, they still need solid evidence to prove the murders are a hate crime. Tara Freeland talked to a Tulsa law professor today in our continuing team coverage. The professor says when it comes down to it, murder is a more heinous crime. After the shooting death of three black Tulsans by two men of a different race, many believe the crime was racially motivated. Some call it a hate crime. But District that. Attorney Tim Harris says it's all it in the evidence. This isn't hide the ball. This is presenting the evidence. If we can figure out what the motivation was behind these killings and it sufficiently meets the elements of hate crime, then we'll file a hate crime. Harris says there is a federal hate crime law and a state statute. A hate crime is when anyone commits assault or battery or makes public statements based on race, gender, nationality or origin. Two years ago, one of the suspects, Jake England's father, was shot and killed. A black man was arrested as a suspect. That death was later ruled a justifiable homicide. A day before the most recent shootings, 19-year-old England used a racial slur to describe the man who killed his father. England's Facebook post says, Today is two years that my dad has been gone. It's hard not to go off. I'm gone in the head. They are looking probably for evidence that either one or both of these individuals had some sort of racial animus towards blacks or towards um, the black community. And, TU law and, professor um, Tamara Piety says the post is evidence, right. but it may not be enough to prove a hate crime in the courtroom. Occasionally you have uh, hate crime situations where somebody has membership in an organization like the Ku Klux Klan where you can say, okay, yes, I understand this person has racial animus. But more often today, racial animus makes itself felt in very subtle ways that are very hard to identify. Piety says investigators will look at all the facts and the backgrounds of the suspects. However, she says the community may still see it another way. The crime is not only bad because it of the act itself, but of the violence it might in, engender in the community response. Professor Piety says the worst crime these suspects could be charged with is murder because then it's a possibility the death penalty could be the punishment. Tara Vreeland, News on 6.